Hello, Dark Gaming here. Today, um, going to be a bit of a different stream. I'm going to be streaming Carex, as you can see. As you know, uh, the famous jeans Dean is back in FD. So, I've got a love for Mustang. So I downloaded uh, this livery for this particular car and built a tune completely around it. So this tune will be me um, explain. Sorry, let's try that again. This stream will be uh, me explaining this tune in detail, uh, why I've done things the way I've done it, um, and try to keep this thing going sideways. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, first of all, uh, Mustang. Everyone knows the Mustang. Um, currently um, in FD, you've got uh, Von Gettin Jr. Um, sharing a car with Adam LZ, doing half a season each. Then you've also got um, LZ crashing the car in the first uh, season sorry not the first season, the first uh, drift competition we've also got uh, Chelsea Denofa who's in a yellow RTR Mustang and we also now have the legend uh, James Dean which is an Irish uh, drifter and is the first right hand drift vehicle in Formula Drift which I found really interesting. So, obviously, I've got the ultimate uh, mods on this thing. So, straight to the dyno. I normally run about 15 on the springs on the front. Uh, front spring stiffness about 150. Um, rear about 40. I don't want it too stiff on the back. Um, Front dampener fast bump is at 7,000, uh, the rear is at 6,000, I just want it a little bit more responsive on the back end. Um, fast rebound is at 10,000 on front and rear. The front uh, dampener bump is at 13 and the rear is at 12. I'll just move these across. The front dampener rebound is at 16,000 uh, as the rear is at 14. So, as you can imagine, the front end's kind of stiff, whereas the rear is sort of loose. So, when the car drifts, I want it to sort of turn the body into the rear wheels and possibly lift up the front. Um, so, if I'm going left round a bend, my right hand side would actually lift up a little bit. Um, which I see a lot in FD front toe um, I run negative 0.5 on the front I don't think it needs any more than that on the rear I run um, 0.2 the reason for that is when you start throttling um, your rear end will squat so when the arse end slams the ground. I want full contact patch, which means I've got as much grip as humanly possible. And I found between 0 0.20 and 0 0.50, depending on how much your car squats, is usually a good rough number. Front camber, I usually run about negative 7. I, I've seen people use a lot more, but it's not necessary. It looks like James Dean's car, so it's kind of how I want to keep it. Rear camber is usually the same, 0.51. Again, for the same reason when it squats, I want the exact same um, contact patch. I'll go back to rear toe because I think I explained that a bit wrong. What that is, it's the wheels pointing in slightly. So you can see the rear wheels just slightly pointing in on both sides. That's kind of what I want. And the camber is... Um, basically what that front wheel is doing there it's tucking the 
top end of the wheel in and pushing the front wheel out. I want the front anti roll bar as stiff as I dare go without it being on ice. So it's stiff as I dare go there at 100. Um, the reason I've done that is because with the rear being so soft, the rear can go wherever it wants, um, whereas the front is stiff as hell. So I can get the front wheel to lift off the ground. Caster, I never really run anything over 8. Ackerman angle is always 100%. I'm on a steering wheel with 900 degree uh, force feedback. If you do it the other way, it's kind of cheating. Um, the car feels like it's on rails and I don't, just don't like it. Not fully understood any of these new features yet. The steering axis offset. I I'm not 100%, but if I can turn the camera, what I think that means is you've got a steering rack here. Whether that means the steering rack gets pulled back a little bit, so when the steering's pulled in, one size more than the other. I don't know if my explanation of that is transferable over the mic here. It sounded right in my head. But anyway, King Ping angle, I do not know what that is. Um, I tried to find some information about it on the internet and I get a load of jargon. And I just can't be bothered reading. Max angle, always. Wheels, I always run 18s. Sometimes I'll do uh, 19s on the rear, um, but then I'll change the tyre width. I always run 275s and 315s no matter what car I run. Front tyre pressure um, is 105, rear is at 75. I do still want it to keep a bit of grip with the amount of power this has got. So the Hadesian, I'm using 100. Now a lot, I've seen a lot of videos where they're down at 90, right? they just slam it all over here. Two reasons that I don't do that. One, wheels look tacky. Two, I'm not into that slow tandem drifting uh, bowl. Um, it might look cool, but I'm not into it. I'm more into FD style drifting. Uh, yeah, door to door uh, style fast. But I, I can't do that yet. It's what I'm going to be practicing later on. Front wheel track. All that is is the distance your wheel is sticking out. If you look at James Dean's car and uh, Chelsea Denofa's, you'll know that these tyres stick out quite a bit. <laughs> And tyre profiles, um, 35 front, 40 on the rear. Um, I always like to have a bit more tyre on the back. Engine. Right, so, James Dean's car is 1,111 brake horsepower. Same with Denofa's, they're exactly identical. And they're naturally aspirated. Downside is you can't do that without putting turbocharger and air pressure on. So I run the bare minimum just so I can get the correct um, brake horsepower. Now I, I do know they run nitrous in the system, so I could just put a line through that and say it's nitrous, and I'm only getting 0.8 air pressure to the nitrous system. And just have done with it. But it is what it is. Rev limiter is only at 9,000. Uh, that's true to the real life uh, car. Transmission. Yeah, this is where it gets interesting. After doing a lot of research and actually watching James Dean's uh, videos on a set of Corsa, I've watched how he set some of his cars up. Um. But some of this gear ratio has actually come from um, Denofa. So I'm running an LSD. And it's only 55 uh, locks on the rear. They never, ever have it fully. People call it welded diff. 
but in FD you never have that. In pro drifting you never have a welded diff. It's always LSD. Final drive. I could not find any information on their gear ratio. All I know is what gearbox they use and what gearbox gearboxes they offer. So with that, in, that said, I looked up the gearboxes and the several ratios uh, that they have for a four speed dog box, which is a manual. And these are the four speeds that I, well, four ratios that I found. So you got 249 on gear one, 172 on gear two, gear three is 134, and gear four is one to one ratio. Never use gear five or six, pointless. They only have a four speed dog box in these cars. The final drive, there was not much information on that, so I had to roughly guesstimate, and just by going off the feel, um, depending on what track I go on with this car, will change that. It'll either vary between 3.50 and 4.10. I never go any higher or lower than that. So the more this end you get, the more acceleration you get, but it means you'll be switching gears constantly more this way you go it's longer spread gears which means you get hardly any acceleration but more top end speed now if you've watched FD they normally go from gear 1 to gear 2 to gear 3 for speed then they'll drop back down to gear 2 for um, doing the drifts or initiating a Scandinavian flick um, so I try and keep my car when I'm drifting, while I'm just learning the heat shifter, um, roughly in the second gear, unless I feel really ballsy, go really quick, and then go into gear three. But you'll see why in a minute, why I don't go into gear three. Brakes. Now this is user preference. Um, when I want this to stop, I want ABS to kick in. I don't want this thing sliding off the road. Um, when you're multiplayer... Oh, sorry, when you're on multiplayer on this, if you slide off the road, it's quicker just to hit the reset button. Um, and bear in mind, when this is going sideways, you've got no brakes. Um, so if you decide to lock your brakes on, all of them lock on at the same time, but ABS will only send certain wheels, um, the brakes, power it needs, that's got the most grip. Launch control I don't use. Um, even though it says tandems, I still don't use it. I don't see the need. Alright, well that's being said. What I'm going to do, um, for anyone who's watching the stream, I am going to set up a room. And what I'm going to do is create one for the stream. So if you want to join, I'm going to rename this to Dark Gaming Streaming Live. So if you want to come along and show off your vehicles, please feel free. There's going to be no password, just look up Dark Gaming, streaming live. And here we are. And this is the car. Now I don't know what James Dean's colours actually look like for his underglow, so for the time being I've just put in um, what I feel is right. It might not be right, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do is a bit of a warm up until people start joining. Realize I do not have gears. Just let me plug in my Thrustmaster gears. 
e brakes working. All right, take two. I don't expect a pro driver because I ain't. What I can do is make the car go sideways and hold it. Uh, what I can't do is all that tandem stuff that we see. So all I'm going to be doing is while I wait for people is just do a bit of a warm up. So what I'll do is I'll go around Red Rock and I'll head over to the UFO. So if you can hear my wheel, I've got a um, Thrustmaster T300 RS with a Spaco e-brake and Thrustmaster gears and the Pro pedals with the clutch. One thing I do know about this car is I can get some crazy angle on it. And the other reason why I got the tune set up the way I've got it is because the car practically self steers. Not so much it keeps me drifting though. Oh, lost it. There goes that wheel. messed up. If you are wanting to join uh, Discord for future drifts or possibly uh, just want to talk to us or just want to know a bit more about this car please feel free to join my Discord. It is in the uh, description below. If you like what you see please like and subscribe. Ring the bell so um, you'll get notified for every time I go live. I usually give about 10-15 minute uh, warning before I do go live. More than enough time to set up if you want to join me. Yeah, I fluffed up. 
difficult thing is with this gear ratio that I can just keep it in second. I've not actually tried to do this in third yet. There, see what happens. Yeah, in fair, I've got to keep the speed up. Probably seen me deb in the foot brakes a couple of times. That's uh, just to control the speed. Now, I don't think I can get this around the UFO in third, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, I can't really drift around here in third. I should have done a warm up before I went live.
Yeah, I'm not brilliant, but I'm not the worst. Oops, wrong button. I don't know if I should be drifting inside the car. I drive for real and I still can't drive on the internal view when drifting. It doesn't have that full feel and the fact that the wheel that I have is still in front of me. I'm trying to drive inside and the wheel's kind of moving left and right because your point of view is changing. It feels a bit weird. Unless you've got like a motion simulator. We'll give it a go. Sorry if I'm not speaking as much, I am trying to concentrate on drifting. I'm a typical man, I'm not really good at uh, multitasking. Case in point. Oh dear. This is why I don't do tandems, because I'll end up taking everyone out. Oh, getting stuck like I just did. This is why I can't drift inside the car.
So yeah. So this stream was basically just showing off um, the potential of this tune. Um, don't know why people like it so much. Um, if you want it, it's in the Kino um, Disco server. Disco server? Discord server. Um, so go and look them up. Um, obviously uh, leave a like on the tune so I know that how many people are using it if you like what you see please come back to the video um, and like, share ring the bell whatever you like hopefully in the next video I will get a couple of people in so we can try and fail some uh, tandems We'll see how it goes. The next video that I'm going to be releasing is probably either going to be tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, probably on Flight Simulator. So we'll see how the day pans out anyway. So if you want to join along on any of the games, please uh, join the Discord um, link. If you want to help me out, please subscribe. Um, and like, again, I know it's repetitive, but I'm a low-time YouTube uh, streamer. So every little helps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute my mic, watch the replay, and I will see you on the next stream. Thank you for joining. Bye.